So with that, without further ado, I'm going to bring up our very first speaker, our man. Let me pull up. Got two separate cards here. Okay. Anthony Pritchard. Anthony Pritchard is our first speaker of the night. He's known for his defunct public television show, The Denver YouTube Professional. I'm not a stand-up comedian. I'm not an entertainer. I'm not an actor. And if I try to remember these lines, I know they're just going to come out crappy because it's not natural. What am I going to say? And that's when I realized, I'll just say the same thing I'm saying every single day anyways. You see, at the time I was a general contractor and I was working for investors in the fix and flip game. And so there I was. And I said, behind me is 1643 Raleigh Street. This is a house that I've been contracted to remodel. My investors bought the house for 270,000. They're paying me 70,000 to completely remodel the entire thing. And they hope to sell this house for 425,000, which is a nice $70,000 profit. So my name is Anthony Pritchard. I'm a general contractor. I'm going to walk you through this house right now. And as you can see, this beautiful lava rock facade on the exterior from the 60s is no longer trending. So we're going to go ahead and stucco over that. Inside the front door, you can see we've already taken down the cabinets. We've done the demo. We've put up drywall, texture, primer. And oh, here in the hallway, we have Javier putting in our flooring. Javier, would you mind telling the people watching at home what you're doing now? He looked at me, stark. Uh, then he broke into it. Yes, of course, Anthony. Why? Of co I have a 12-inch travertine tile. Very beautiful. It's going to go in a pinwheel pattern. And you're going to have a nice ink, eighth-inch bone grout. And when you're done, I'm going to polish it. And I'm going to seal it. You're going to love it, man. I said, whoo. Javier, that was a really good explanation. Thanks very much. Onto the backyard where we're putting in an addition and a new garage. And that was it. That was the moment where I knew I had something that was both educational and entertaining. And I just did the same thing I was doing six times a day anyways for investors and subcontractors. It was called social proof. Evidence that I could do what I said I could do. I published that video to YouTube and the next day a homeowner who had seen the video said, hey, can you come give me a quote on my kitchen? Ended up being a $50,000 kitchen remodel and huge light bulb went on in my head. I'm not gonna be remodeling anymore. I'm gonna be using video to sell because I had just come from the corporate background in sales where a sale of $50,000 took days of telephone prospecting, weeks of going to meetings and second meetings so I could close that sale. And, and I did it like, like that with the video. And it, it just saved me a week of time. And so from then on, I've dedicated myself to the art of building a relationship through video online or just building trust. And today, my agenda is to demonstrate to you that video is the most powerful business tool on earth. I've got some activities, some discussion, and what I like to call an acid test, which you just finished before I walked up here on stage, to show you that you can be all places everywhere instantly because you're already traveling around in everybody's front pocket. Seth Godin said that companies who use their smartphone better than their competitors will thrive in the new year. <laughs> consistency in video. Consistency in your video voice. To me, the word consistency sounds like authenticity, transparency, and accountability. Because when you go on video, you cannot lie. It's almost impossible to be someone you're not. So, my first activity for the day is for you to pull out your smartphone. I know everybody has one. 
turn to your neighbor, find a partner, and we're going to demonstrate the, the value of first an image, right? You've all heard this, the saying, an image says a thousand words. Well, if an, if an image can say a thousand words, how many words does a video say? Okay, so you're going to turn to your neighbor. Um, you're going to give them your phone in camera mode and you're going to take three photos. Happy, upset, and surprised. Go ahead. Because video conveys body language. Your gait, your rhythm, your tone, your movements. You can look at somebody's video and make a split second decision. Is that somebody I think I can work with or not? And all you got to do is put yourself out there. So that's your next activity. What is the one question that everyone asks when they come to your website if they've never been there or heard of you before? What do you do? And? How much? <laughs> what do you do is one of them. How will you help Can I trust this person? Can I trust the person? Yeah, there's definitely trust. Whose is it? Whose website is this? Who stands behind this brand name? And what do they do? Right? Isn't that what everybody needs to know as soon as they get to your website? Yeah. So, if these two guys named Sergey Brin and Larry Page got together 18 years ago in the center of the Silicon Valley, Stanford University, and said, we could fix this thing called the internet if we do this one thing, what was that one thing? Give people what they want. Then we have to take a cue from Larry and Sergey and give people what they want. If they come to your website, they need to know whose website is this and what do they do. So turn to your neighbor, give them your phone, and give them your elevator pitch. Video it? Video it. Video your elevator pitch. You may not use this particular clip because the audio may not be superb. However, you will have a working model of what you can do, what you should do. The, the best coach I've, I've been told is video. I've studied this and I've actually, I'm a soccer coach, so I record my players about two games into the season. And then we all come over to somebody's house and watch the game. For many of those players, it's the first time they've ever seen themselves on video. The first time they've ever had this out-of-body experience where they're witnessing their own body language Without anyone having to say anything, those players self-correct. They auto-adjust based on the video that they've just watched. So when I was doing that television show, my God, that was so stressful. I had this, you know, million dollar broadcast studio and all these people like volunteering their time to do this and, and I didn't want to waste anyone's time. So I would watch myself over and over again to, to auto-correct, to auto-adjust. And, and those videos you just took, they're not public. You didn't put them on the internet yet for everyone to see. So you can still study them and watch them and learn from them. The thing that I got so good at was publishing a video so that would show up on the first page of Google. And so the, the key word for the video that I created today was best business networking event in the Denver Tech Center. That's the most valuable keyword for this group of people right here. If somebody typed that in, this would be the best result. And Google knows that. Google knows that people prefer video. So I ask, I ask you to um, go ahead and do the acid test. Pull out your phone and type in best business networking event in the Denver Tech Center and see what comes up. <laughs> Got here a little early so I could put this video together. You got AdWords on that. Denver Chamber of Commerce. Uh oh. They're paying to little, beat you. Little competition there is not good for my. Uh, for my 
acid test here. It's there. It's on the first page of Google. Yahtzee! <laughs> Baby! So that's how easy it is for all of you to be your own expert in your corner of the world. Find out your most valuable keyword. Make a video with that keyword. Title your video with that keyword and get found on the first page of Google. Because if you don't show up on the first page of Google, you don't exist. They can't find you. And they have no other choice but to go with your competitor. And your competitor can't do what you do. Only you can do that. So my last trick of the night, before I hand over the mic, is to ask you one more question. What's the most valuable thing on any website that 95% of websites do not have? It's the thing that somebody needs right before they hand you their big stack of money. Call to action. They need you to lower their risk. And the best way for you to lower their risk is the video testimonial. But anytime you ask somebody for a video testimonial, what, is, what happens? Shoulders go into the ear holes, right? What do I do? So stab them with that business card I just gave you. Turn it over. Read it. Give more video testimonials. And it'll be easier for you to ask more video testimonials. It doesn't look like we have time to do this activity live here. Because we're running out of time. But I urge you to use that video testimonial formula to give more video testimonials. The more you give, the more you get. Thank you very much. <laughs>